Hey guys, and welcome to the 28th of February 2018 patch notes. This is the second anniversary for Black Desert, and as such, the patch notes are pretty exciting today. So let's dive right in. So on March 3rd, 2016, Black Desert launched, which means today is three days from the second anniversary. To commemorate the second anniversary on this special day, they've prepared several awesome events over the following weeks, released the absolute skills for all classes, and included a special appreciation gift in the game. The appreciation gift can contain any piece of boss gear, as well as boxes for the weapons. So absolute skills have been added for all classes. This is pretty huge. This means that the pre-awakenings have now been had several of their various abilities for each class awakened, and you can spend more skill points in them now. There are new search functions added to the alchemy and cooking windows, which makes it a lot easier to get to the learned recipes. A guild expense system has been added. So this system will allow the guildmaster to set the max amount of guild funds any guild member can spend when purchasing from the guild shop. Uh, this was a problem because sometimes an officer could just go and purchase tons of items and deplete all the guild funds and make it so the guild couldn't pay out or give their guild funds to any of their members, which is obviously a big problem. So now guildmasters can limit the amount of damage an officer that wants to spend the guild's funds maliciously can do. The re recent price of items on the marketplace will be reset during every maintenance. Uh, so if there was a pre-order that was won and then for like 150 million for a base begs, and then the market reset because of the maintenance, you won't see that the 150 million was the most recent pre-order price, you'll only see the min and max prices. The cooldown has been removed for continuously moving items from the mount inventory or campsite store and continuously switching your main weapon. Which is pretty nice, it's uh, just a small quality of life change, but it'll make stacking stuff in your mount a lot easier. Fix the issue where the Hawacha and Flame Towers would not fire intermittently during Conquest and Node Wars. So, the second anniversary appreciation gift has Red Nose Armor, Giath's Helmet, Beg's Gloves, Muskin's Shoes, Dim Tree Armor, Griffin's Helmet, Urgon's Shoes, Zarka's Sealed Weapon Box, Nuver's Sealed Sub Weapon Box, Kutum's Sealed Sub Weapon Box, and Dandelion Weapon Box. I personally got a Kutum Sealed Sub Weapon Box, I was hoping for a Dandy, but oh well. And I've been trying all day unsuccessfully to snipe a Griffin's or a Urgon's off the marketplace. Discount coupons have been given out to all adventurers, so there's a 10% discount coupon times one, and a 20% function discount coupon times one. They're valid for one week. The Armstrong Skill Guide for one day will also be available on sale for a limited period for only two pearls. So even if you don't plan to tool around your build, it's advisable to buy this and just store it on an alt, as two pearls is a steal. There is a new event concerning the Lavientia's Accessory. So I'll be doing this in a separate video, but basically when you get to the end of this event, you get a box that has a piece of boss accessory in it. So Tungrad, Earring, uh, Ogre Ring, Crescent Ring, and uh, Basilisk Belt. So it's pretty worth it to do that. It's uh, At a minimum, you're going to make about 40 million silver just doing this event, so not too bad. There's also seven new event challenges, but only for rookie adventurers. So they're trying to get new adventurers into the game with this huge uh, second anniversary event. So any adventurers with less than 1,440 total minutes, which I believe is 24 hours of gameplay, are eligible to complete special challenges for rewards. Uh, so they're complete... These, there's seven days of rewards. Uh, they're pretty nice. Settlement packs, horse emblems, so you get a tier 5 horse, uh, inventory and expansion coupons, uh, horse flute, black stones, advice of Valks, and another settlement pack. So, pretty nice. Uh, a special experience boost event will be held in commemoration of the second anniversary. So for five days, combat experience plus 200% and skill EXP plus 20%. And the weekday boost will be from 3.6 to 3.9. Uh, 100% experience and 10% experience. And then the weekend boost from the 10th to the 12th will be back to the 200% and 20%. So if you're planning on grinding, do it this week. There's also some new fireworks uh, added, and all the Valentine's Day events have gone. I apologize for my voice, guys. It's uh, a little hoarse right now, but not much I can do. Today is a huge day for videos. The new 3D minimap feature has been added, so there's been some complaints about this, but uh, hopefully they're optimizing it, and it looks pretty cool. There's a few graphical fixes and glitches. All characters, so stamina consumption while sprinting in the Awakened Weapon Stance has been decreased by about 25%, which is pretty nice. 
having to put away your weapon so you could properly sprint from place to place if you've lost your horse was kind of annoying, but it wasn't too big a deal. But nice little quality of life change. Alright, so pretty much the only things that have happened here, with the exception of some skills may have reduced damage when engaging PvP targets, is that every class has gotten await their well pre-awakened skills, the absolute skills. So that's all that's really happened for class balance this week. The following items sold at the guild shop can now be purchased by regular guild members, so HP potions, MP potions, and the juices, which is pretty good for guild wars, as you don't need to kind of awkwardly trade potions anymore. Uh, the following guild accessories have been added to the guild shop. The Crimson Shadow Ring, Earring, Belt, and Necklace. So they expire within 15 days of purchase, and can be purchased with guild funds by any guild member. You must have enough guild expenses available to cover the cost when buying the items. And they're pretty expensive. They're like a 500 million silver each, 250 million silver each. So I'm not sure if the guild funds permanently go away, or if after the 15 days you get the guild funds back, but I'm fairly sure they permanently go away. I will have to find out more about that as we test out the system though. Uh, apart from that, there's some new pearl shop changes. Uh, there's a brand new beautiful looking outfit for sorceress for any of the masochists that still play that class. Uh, rookie and skilled subcategories under the Black Spirits pick tab will offer items suitable for new and skilled adventurers. They've reformed the outfit and costume tab, there's a new travel aid tab, uh, and a few of the other tabs have been reformed. There's some new quests that have been added, some new knowledge, a few new interface changes. They've revamped the UI and the escape menu have been added. So you can switch to the new UI by pressing the switch menu button, which is at the bottom of the escape menu. So if you open up the menu like this, it's right here near the disconnect button. Uh, the enhancement window has been reworked and should be more intuitive. You should also be able to check the results of your enhancements more easily. So now you can kind of cry yourself to sleep by looking at all your failed enhancements. The trade info window has been reworked, the ranking window has been reworked, a uh, new escape menu, a new notepad function has been added to the escape menu so you can write yourself little notes. The settings window has been reworked, uh, so there's a bunch of different presets now. So highest spec siege, mid spec siege. The uh, siege things, they should be pretty interesting to see if they actually help with the problems that people face in sieges with all the lag on screen. The marketplace notification system has been improved, so this is a pretty big one actually. When an item has been registered in the marketplace that is either an item you registered for notification or that you have placed a pre-order for, a notification will appear, so in the bottom right where it still does. Uh, when clicked, you can now receive additional related information will be shown, so you can see who wins the pre-orders, you can see exactly what time it was. So before, you'd have the little notification, you press confirm and it goes away and you have to remember that 15 minutes from now, uh, you have to check the time. So if it was 6.05, I'd have to check at 6.20, uh, and you have to remember that. Now you can just press the notification, you can see when the notification arrived. Uh, up to 20 notifications will be shown. The notifications listed in the additional information window will be reset when the game is loaded again. And when there's a notification alert, the notification icon will be visible at the bottom right of the screen. Uh, apart from that, there's not too, too much else that has changed in this patch. Uh, fix the issue with, with the long-tailed rose, which would not sit on the character's shoulder when either Hedgehog or Snow Kid was also summoned simultaneously. That's a pretty huge change for those lovers of the rose finch out there. I love this cute little pet. I have her out at all times. And her sitting on my, my shoulder is one of my greatest joys in Black Desert as I process. So that's a pretty nice little change. So... These patch notes, pretty huge. The biggest things for sure are the absolute skills release. That is something we've been waiting for for a long time. The change to the guild expense system and the marketplace are pretty nice. The brand new event starting is good. And the second anniversary, so if you haven't logged into Black Desert recently, log in today. You want to get this uh, second anniversary uh, event item because it's a free piece of boss gear. You're minimum making 95 million silver. If not more, if you get something that's rare, such as Urgon's shoes, or a dandelion box, and it's absolutely amazing to have. Uh, I'm pretty happy with these patch notes. There's a lot of good stuff, and I'll be covering. I'll be making a few more videos to cover the brand new event for the Lavientia set. I'll be covering the absolute skills, and oh yeah, I'll just be uh, covering a few more things today. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. That was the patch notes for the 28th of February 2018 patch. Subscribe if you like it, and have a good one.